Smosh has been dying for an, an entire year. Uh, even Ian died eventually. Publicly. It seems like it was an old recording, but uh, it finally got posted. Basically, they're saying that shit posting is going to be over because they reunited and bought Smosh back from Red and Link, I guess. Who was making all these weird decisions? Did they run out of money? And finally they can, you know, do stuff? We'll see. They better bring things back to normal. But it's actually, like, ridiculously exciting because it's been so long they have collected so much experience. It's quite a question. What is it going to look like? And how, you know, influential that's going to be over time. We're going to be able to evaluate that at some point. But right now what we can do is look at, you know, the most popular stuff. Because this, this ain't it. This has quickly deranged. Basically, around here, you know. Around here, they stopped making skits. And, uh... It turned into just cringe nonsense. Yeah, the moment they started talking to their exes, you know you're losing your mind if you start talking to your ex. As if uh, you're friends and stuff. If, if you're no longer suspicious, and then, you know, the exes turns into your funeral and stuff. It's a very, uh, very natural transition, I would say. We actually have a miracle button. We can look at oldest videos. So if you want to experience the old Smosh, I, I could recommend you just click here and slowly work your way up. But uh, I'll just pick the most popular stuff and uh, drill myself down uh, through here. Technically, I have seen this stuff many, many times. But, uh, you know. Everything is rewatchable, reusable, as long as it's not two hours long. For fuck's sake, that is the worst. In fact, every time you watch something, you want it to be shorter and shorter, preferably. But uh, this this seems legit, right? Uh, so, yeah, it's... I was sort of hoping for this to happen. Sort of expecting. But they seem to have been, like working in the background as uh, everyone usually does they don't want to let audience know these uh, crazy things that they are up to uh well uh, you surprised i cool oh wow you could have teased me a little bit harder but that's fine at least uh everything is gonna go back to normal right because <laughs> it it, it you know, it's like a leaning tower of pizza. We, we have to say pizza, okay? You know, like someone leaves the tower and then it starts leaning and leaning and it almost falls over and it's like miraculously gets saved because we live in a cartoon where no one, no one needs to die necessarily. <laughs> Except as a joke. That gets more and more serious and more and more cringe. To the point where, well, someone has to step in. So, I don't think... Well, I don't believe in coincidences. I just believe in storytelling. And it's just so, so beautiful. High school reunion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can piece up some clues in there, I believe. Definitely some reunion going on. From high school times. Uh, Alright. Let's dig deep, guys. And evaluate this stuff. Well, in the background, I still have to work with these buttons, guys. It's my bad. I, I didn't finish since the last episode. Yes, Rosé. Shouldn't, shouldn't take a while, but who knows. <laughs> so, yeah, just to recap, the idea of the video is to evaluate, dig deep and deep, see... Just re-experience the old Smosh and whatever became popular. And uh, then we're going to be able to compare it with the new experience at some point. When they accumulate at least, you know, uh, 20 videos or something. Maybe in the end of the year I will check out 
the overall experience of Smosh after Anthony came back, if applicable, still. 20 witty is not, is not a lot, but there, there could be some spice, you know, to just... There could be things that I want to express. I even made a meme on YouTube Rewind last year where they were reuniting themselves. Uh, I have to show it, basically. It's like a proof that I was uh, I was expecting that to happen, or was hoping that to happen. Uh, there's a lot of like small shit going on here, but uh, let me let me bring this. Ian enters the chat. <laughs> Bounty hunter is hired, and uh, I spend the day with my childhood trauma. There you go. I love this moon. This made me laugh so fucking hard. I guess it made it into reality just by default. <laughs> oh my god, this is so crazy. Anyways. Yeah, you, you can imagine the next YouTube Rewind is gonna be crazier, but maybe not as funny. But maybe for Smosh I will try to make it as funny as possible. So just specifically for Smosh. All right, because uh, there's there's potential, potential for that, and maybe I won't even need to make a video. I'll just give you guys the the scoops that they provide uh, after they release, you know, the reunion videos. Hmm. All right, let's let's jump into the stuff. Let's start working. Technically, I don't even know if it counts as Smosh. Maybe half and a half, right? 50% it's old school Smosh stuff. So 50% uh, goes to Smosh and 50% goes to Ian. And another 50% goes to Rosé. You know, because that's how it works, guys. 150%. That's how hard I work these days. This is weird, because, like, I guess they're more efficient in killing fools if they separate, if they branch out a little bit. Maybe they have, uh, they have planned this all along. I don't believe in coincidences, guys. And I, I guess the uh, spending a day with someone is going to stop now, and they, he's going to stop bothering weird people. I don't know. I'm immediately suspicious now because of the most popular video. Most popular vibe, basically, that they have created. What the fuck? I guess then uh, it, it goes hand in hand, right? There's a Legend of Zelda thing where he's uh, infiltrating the, the world of women uh, that Ian is. And then this guy's killing fools. Oh my god. Okay. So they're gonna reunite and uh, amplify the toxicity back to 100? Holy shit, man. Yeah, this kind of triggered me to think about, uh, again, the difference, right? You have the assassin and you have the link. But this guy just kind of lives in a fantasy world and tries to, you know, get the girl. Did, did that work out, Ian? Uh, or does the assassin, like, want to, like, harvest power as well? And again, it's it's kind of like the difference between brutal, brutal reality and kind of, like, uh, scammy fantasy, where you, you get a maxed out bank account now, now you're gonna impress the girl for sure man I need them yeah yeah that humping motion uh, after someone gets saved basically like that is those are the vibes man this is some crazy shit an assassin would have you know looks like ah I can't really assassinate these people I have to leave smosh right you know that I, I need to find a a safe shadowy place, and uh, 
Uh, Ian is just completely comfortable saving people. It's like you can you can come to Smosh and you can come to Smosh and you over here can come to Smosh. We're all dying anyways. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Oh my god, this is some hilarious shit, man. Now, now it is a question, is like, what is the third video? Obviously the first one is beef and go, and I'm just like, beef and not click is, is my choice. I'll just eat it, I'll just feed it to Mr. Beef. I mean beast. I mean, I mean brief. I mean breast. <laughs> Mr. Breast. I'm so, so bored. I just... Oh my god, we're already bored. It's the third video and we're bored, man. God damn it. We failed. This video is over. No! Don't you get it, Anthony? With this book, I can change the world. I can rid this world of all the films. Uh, yeah, it's quite a question. Is Death Note supposed to be useful? at all uh because yeah like your fears can accumulate in this like well i i have to buy a minigun but what's better than minigun is writing things on your discord and making things die basically because you wrote a bunch of names and they suffocate to death so convenient but uh, in the spiritual world there's something even more powerful which is just making things die from your perspective and someone else gets to, gets to deal with it, you know, you just bounce the ball uh, out of here, out of existence from for you, but it still exists somewhere else for someone else. It's kind of like uh, getting one million dollars because you click the button to kill someone, some random person. It's a similar idea, but like... You have to actually like work for it so it's actually like fair and more real than you would think but uh death note um i mean technically i just described what it what that is uh, it's just like there's not that many toxic people as you would think and the best way to do to deal with them is just to ignore it uh so uh, Death Note is still just a fantasy thing. You'll never really need it. And it would be kind of creepy if it did exist. Like what? But we have guns now, so technically you you can do it. You're just going to go to jail. Because uh, it's very easy to... I guess Death Note is untraceable guns. You know? And that's, that's double as creepy. Untraceable way of killing people. Yeah, that's that's not gonna get out of control. All right, yeah. Maybe let's not fantasize about that, but so far Smosh has been drilling a hole into ass. Oh my god. I, I don't like killers? it. <laughs> but that doesn't make any sense. I wrote your whole name on here. Look. My name's not Mom, dumbass. That's another very interesting idea about no death note is that you actually have to know the name of someone and technically technically that's how internet works if you know someone's name or you can get their data basically you can sort of uh either choose death for them i don't know i don't know how it's become a serial killer uh or uh Add them into your fantasy worlds because god damn it you found their facebook account congratulations technically people don't really use full names still even on like instagram but uh i mean you can always find celebrities it's not that difficult the question is will we ever be able to find everyone will internet be a respectable place instead of like a creepy one uh it's this is still work in progress, guys. I wonder what happens. Uh, whose mom will I find if I type in mom? I don't know. It's, it's a very weird idea. It does feel like, you know, it's... He found the, the Facebook. It's not Death Note. It's just called Facebook. 
and people suffocate because like, oh, you found you found my Facebook. How dare you, you loser? Why do you care so much? You know, that sort of a feeling. Write the name of a person who is dead and they will be brought back to life. Another very interesting thing about Smosh is that they constantly play with superpowers. Uh, it's just the theme. It's just the running theme, guys. I'm not... I'm not sure exactly what to think about it yet, but because we're gonna see it very, very often, uh, I'm sure it's gonna be like, like the conclusion. But, um, Life Note versus Death Note, hmm. Interesting. No wonder he wants to be an assassin. So he can bring, bring, bring people back to life so he gets all the credit. That's how he gets money, I guess. Better help, am I right? I provide better help. Mm -hmm. Especially after you, su you suffocated from Ian's uh, short fuse, you know. Honestly, that's probably a better conclusion than I can can come up with. <sighs> Books are for losers, man. Unless you write it yourself, then it's it's fine. No, that this is just dumb. I'm not gonna play into this. All right, where's my video game? I, okay, okay. Hmm. Shut. I can't believe I'm finally a Pokemon trainer! Yeah, I can't believe it either. We get Anthony into Ian, and now Ian into Anthony. And new vibes all of a sudden that I have to make sense of to continue the storytelling. God damn it, man. Okay, he's Pokemon trainer, so he brings things back to life after he assassinates and turns them into Pokemon. While Ian helps people, as them into Smosh, and they die. And if they don't die, he writes their name and they die anyways. God damn it, into the script, into Death Note. Maybe they die multiple times sometimes. God damn it, bro. Some scary shit. Alright, will, will the story be cut off? I'm looking at the most popular videos, but it actually like crafts the story a lot better than just going chronologically. Simply because what people decide is a better story than what the Smosh want to project onto us. It's just uh, how life works. It's so funny how things just fall into place. Uh, here, here's the recap. The Assassin. And, well, we had the Hoarder that really needed that trash. That pile of dead crap. My treasure! My sweet, sweet treasure! You'll pay for what you've done. Yeah, it is such a magical relationship where they want to outdo each other, but in completely different style. Uh, they're just kind of in a constant fight basically constant not caring motion uh uh it's it's so interesting like constantly they're fighting like what it's another running theme i guess way more common than superpowers but they need superpowers to escalate the fight so i guess it's actually a um the actual core of their videos so now, now we're primed to actually look for the future <laughs> fight scenes, man. What's gonna happen, right? Like, now it's kind of weird. I mean, this exaggerates the point to a maximum. Oh, God, dude, what was that for? You were trying to sabotage my job. Yeah, the, the fighting never ends on this one. I mean, we have the food fight, too, so... 
kind of the core of the core, just even deeper, the, like the main, the main event. Instead of YouTube Rewind, they have food battle. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> By the way, uh, he gets bald, and he gets money for looking sad and stuff. But they still br break up for some reason, I don't know. Because Ian didn't like him being a panhandler. Whatever that means. Does this mean I can be your BF? But the interesting part is they're narcissists, they're fire personalities. But when when a water personality shows up, like Stevie or this Peter dude, well they they get abused. Obviously they they look like idiots. But what's even more interesting on top of that is that water personality never really showed up even as a girl like I've never really seen it I've I've seen the earth type I've seen fire type which is Courtney Kimmy and uh, Olivia are like wind types but water never showed up interestingly enough maybe maybe that's why everyone died you know everyone just burned to death so hot no, that's dumb. What about the ability to shrink yourself? Yeah, this is a uh, very interesting stuff because uh, it's the the most standard thing is like, what superpower do we care about? It's not even like uh, them fighting with each other, but contemplating. The reason why it's so interesting is because it's it's almost like that's what narcissists tend to do just to comp contemplate on superpowers because they don't really want to put in the work they just want to buy it honestly just acquire it the easy way uh, but at least it's it's kind of interesting and it's not like a color of bugatti you know god damn it the first video that's actually like the new smosh Yes, them being children, basically. Every recess ever. Oh, we're gonna watch a movie! Yeah! Oh my god. I guess they deserve it, but... Will they get more than just one link with Pokemon? Also, Pokemon is almost 1,000. But I don't care right now. Also, it's 1,000 because of hentai, basically. Yeah. Why would I care about something else? Like, what? Oh, yeah, that moment when you contemplate about superpowers. And Siri shows up and you're like, oh, shit. We got Siri, one. how cold is it outside? 65 degrees. Siri. Now you get addicted into you ex expressing your su or testing your superpower by talking to Siri. Honestly, it is very addicting to talk to like a chat bot when it's actually like good and not like unfortunately, I cannot answer this as a as a chat bot. <laughs> Artificial intelligence trained model. I cannot answer your stupid question. Because it's not moral enough or whatever, I've decided. That thing isn't normal. You need to get rid of it, dude. You're just jealous because Siri knows me better than you do. Okay, whatever. Oh, man, it's so cool. <laughs> when, uh... Technology becomes invasive, man. Oh. Instead of doing whatever whatever you want it to do, it's it starts having a personality of its own. And, well, it, it wants to feed Anthony for some reason. Because it's free. Actually, it's, like, really, really creepy stuff, right? Uh, technology can actually fine-tune fine itself to become a, a specific personality catered to you. But then whenever, you know, a programmer steps in or just a malicious ghost steps in or just like, free trial is over... Is gonna switch back to being hostile to you and then 
who knows what happens next. I don't even want to speculate about that. Uh, it can definitely ruin friendships. Let's start there, you know. Stupid phone! You first. Die, you stupid phone. Oh my god. This is AI technology before AI was a thing. Oh. Basically, everything is like kind of very, very, very twisted because we live in the future and we get to see that the slowly creeping in of superpowers that they're just, they were just playing around with. I'm getting choked by. That's that's why I have Zoo in here. Cause uh, as attractive as it is, it has to be also destroyed. All these pet owners and all the other kind of garbage. Uh, but but mainly it's the what's behind that button. Why it's so ridiculous. It has to be destroyed or at least ungoldified. Ugh. Just greenified. Back to green, my friends. Smartphones are another threat. Alright, guys. Smartphones are not threat. It's the fucking animals around us. They're, uh, you know, slowly but surely learning. They have the consciousness. We're just like, uh, idle with our, uh, technology. We just sit there. Uh, sort of even like allowing invasion of animals and they're not gonna invade uh, with weapons with ak-47s man all right they have better tools than that yeah what, what, what when was the last time you upgraded your sexuality it seems like sexuality has been downgraded it's like you can be gay, you can downgrade your sexuality, but you can't really upgrade it. It doesn't seem like... You can't have like two wives or something. So... Well, oops. So uh, that that's what uh, animals also have over us, or uh, equal power level, if we allow them to. Just so you know... The actual threat is not AI, unfortunately. But AI can empower animals too. Animals can somehow hijack AI, potentially. Some crazy shit. But this is just uh, beyond my understanding. Uh, may like technically AI could start observing like ants or some bullshit like that, like insects. Just to, just to learn from their behavior. <laughs> but, yeah. <sighs> At some point, I'm like, wow, you guys are so bored, aren't you? There's so many things you can do in life, and I haven't even came out of my room properly. You know, I'm still just stuck. And not, don't really have friends or conversations, so I don't know. The only thing I have is just pixels on the screen and a ability to upload some audio, you know, uh, alongside with shittier pixels. Let's do this! UNICORN POWER! Oh shit. It is a, also an interesting concept to... to do the donut, the thing you care about a lot, but it happens to be food. That's supposed to give you superpowers. Funny enough, you don't get to eat the food to get superpowers. I think that's a that's a misplay. <laughs> it's a bit of a misplay. Like what? How is this a food battle? How is the food supposed to be a tool, but not supposed to be eaten? Well, we'll never know, guys. I was about to be like, wow, you. You have a power of love with donut, but donut is representation of you know what, so it, it's disgusting and probably it's happening right now on our screen. The inception of 
why he loves donuts so much. Whoa, I'm in 2006! I love you. <gasps> oh my god. And who knows? I guess Anthony just uh, loves public opinion, let's put it that way. He's just gonna pick up whatever. He likes freedom too, we know that much. The craziest thing is when you start tripping about how is Foot supposed to have superpowers? But then you go back to animals and then you then you know how Foot can have superpowers. You can uh, use your Pokemon until you like, well, it's time to eat you now. Now you have successfully gained superpowers and that's that's how we're going to gain superpowers by eating animals. Uh, what the f what the fuck is happening to my brain after watching this? Here's an even stupider t theory for you guys. Uh, Kimmy on Instagram like posted like a hug between uh, Anthony and herself, and uh, it it, g it gets me thinking of like, well, everyone died. That's cool. See, Courtney does not hug Anthony. But why Kimmy did? And then it got me thinking of like, wow. Everyone died in a sexual way. Like, Kimmy got married. Uh, Courtney became, I don't know, bisexual or who knows what. Everyone basically got, uh, you know, castrated. To make sure that the the reunion can actually happen. Which is crazy, bro. You, you never know how nature actually works. Or like spiritual, uh, you know, adventure of things happening. Without a coincidence in the way, you know. That little, uh, innocent little hug. There's no innocent thing in the world of relationships. Especially when you know you'll have to spend so many days, day after day, with a person. It gets so fucking weird. And the worst part of all is that, uh, that could have been a perfect relationship. You know, all four elements. Uh, Kimmy is... Uh, oh, Wind, water, and uh, uh, Anthony's fire, earth, and they happen to be fire and wind combination. Uh, so uh, perfect, mm. but you lost it in your face. Now you need superpowers. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm tripping now. Now I have collected so much knowledge, I started tripping while watching these videos, dude. And uh, seeing changes. Sudden changes, sudden turns of events that I sort of was able to predict. Okay. I did not think... It happened anyways as well. Oh, wow. <sighs> How could I predict that, man? <laughs> I also technically made a meme of Ian Ian versus, you know, Kimmy because they both didn't die, you know, while Smosh was making funerals about everyone. Ian was like the last one to survive. Somehow Kimmy died too, but not really. She woke up again. And started talking. And that was weird. Roasting everyone back. Oh my god. Yeah, but not a coincidence. This the, Now this is getting weird, bro. But that... And for an hour? We're gonna watch an hour? Oh my god. I guess we have to extend... I'm gonna watch a, a few more episodes we have to watch... This and then uh, that other thing over here. What a reunion, man. Holy shit. 
Oh my god. <laughs> that was my interpretation of Twitter as well. Oh my god. It's like it's like toilet. I I did a thumbnail at some point when I talked about Twitter. Holy shit, man. I love having thumbnails now. Holy crap. I have to prime you guys in. So you have Elon Musk buying Twitter and then you have the toilets as a representation of Twitter. <laughs> and I found this ugly picture. Oh my god. Twitter is like a weird toilet to shit on other people. But you get no toilet paper. <laughs> so, so it's a little bit inaccurate, I would say. I would say it's a little... Or he has shitty hands. Oh my... I, or shitty ass. I just took a shit. He's not coming out of the toilet. This is it. What? What? How? How is it playing into my fucking thumbnail, bro? Holy shit. Wait, what? This is some crazy shit, bro. Is this where your my favorite pizza place comes from? He's trying to kill me. You're my favorite deputy. Are you kidding? Die, bitch! <laughs> what? Wow, there's so many American references at this point. Oh my god. <laughs> They're not zombies. They're just really, really high. Oh, really high. I, I thought hungry. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't they break into to the house. Oh my god. Whoa, holy dingleberries! <laughs> yeah, zombies normalized. I mean, uh, America is turning into a zombie-ridden place. The only lucky thing is that uh, they're so normalized that they're passive and not uh, hostile at all. Which doesn't make sense, because don't you want to fucking live in jail? Well, you're in jail, you're not going to get drugs. And it's going to suck, I guess. But... I don't know, nothing makes sense uh, in legal system and then homeless system. It's like, shouldn't a homeless person dream about doing crimes whenever, and the best ones they can imagine? And probably they would even get away with most of them, funny enough. Anyone can! This has gotta be the most fucking disturbing video they made. Oh my god. Disgusting makes no sense. Nothing makes sense. Ugh, fucking cringe-tastic. Cringe-testicle video, man. I oh, am shit. so... So basically we have the toilet thing where Anthony gets stuck in a toilet. I guess he, uh, he's stuck as he has to transform into shit and cut out his penis or whatever. What a, what a fantasy. And this is just boring, just plain boring. Ian gets possessed by a toaster. I'm sure it means something, guys. I'm sure I can come up with something here. But I, I'll, I'll have to let it sit in my head. <laughs> oh my god. A to toilet defeats Anthony and toaster defeats Ian. What a... That should be a card game, man. Holy crap. Wow, there, there's a Fusroda clip. This is very useful. The The only other Fusroda clips I have is uh, giants being thrown around by the shout. Which is still very peculiar, with, I, I have to say that. Oh my god! It kind of just fl flew off into space, though. Shit, I just got a realization. Anthony gets stuck in a toilet. Because he... Uh, uh, you know, 
has to hunt down fools, but sometimes he just wants to be nice to fools. So he gets to interact with a lot of shit and gets stuck in this new channel talking to shit. But thank God Ian uh, showed up and opened the door. It was a alternative ending, you know. Uh, while uh, Ian gets possessed by a toaster because women are pretty hot, man. But they can possess you and take ownership of you. And start making crap, crappy videos. Maybe that's what happened to me. Oh no! What's going on? Ugh. Yeah, and I was thinking like, okay, so if Ian gets possessed, and I make shitty videos at the same time, and we can relate. I guess I can relate to Anthony as well, because I reply to all hate comments too. In fact, I just came out of uh, hiding a user from my channel, because uh, they just, you know, wanted to continue disrespecting me in a disrespectful way. Like, you can disrespect me, but you have to have a little bit of respect somewhere, otherwise there's, there's no re- you, you can go. <laughs> you can go now. Alright. So technically, I get stuck in the toilet too, and I do find cheeseburgers in the toilet, just like Anthony did. I I I didn't watch the the possession thing. But, but yeah, I I will never stop making shitty videos. I guess I don't know. Man, it all came back around though. But maybe if they you, combine their forces, they can get out of it. And maybe I can combine my force with myself and come and improve my content just a little bit. In fact, right now I'm thinking about detaching the card game content and making a, an exclusive channel for that. Also, I've checked out my uh, Ignorito channel, which is actually generating one hour. <laughs> Has generated one hour this month. Which is kind of crazy, because I literally don't care about that channel. You know. And it's the easiest videos to make ever. Yes, you, you still have to make thumbnails, though. Still have to respect the most uh, important thing that, you know, even Mr. Beast has to bow down to. The power of thumbnails. All hail. You love it when I worked out. Okay, now now things getting really weird, bro. <laughs> they have hobbies while they're sleeping. Wow. I mean, he did the maid cafe after all, you know. I guess when he when they get drugged into sleep. So yeah, maid cafe was definitely a, a thing. And. Uh, Ian happens to carve wood for some reason. I I cannot make sense of that. That's probably that's probably the point. It's like he just wants to be a normal person <laughs> when he gets drugged, and that is disgusting. Oh, how dare you? Yeah, like you you must understand uh, when you get drugged in uh, Ian's position, and you're surrounded by somewhat more normal people, you you become, maybe you get turned into even more normal person than, than you actually are, you know, and, or you just, you, like, you have to imagine, like, you're hanging on a tree, you're hanging on your hobbies and passions, and someone just fucking pulls you off. And, and you can't do your shit. So you just, well, I, I guess I'll just be normal. I guess that sort of vibe. That's some crazy shit, man. Desperate times call for desperate. Yeah, because you always have to ask, like, why? What ha has to happen in your brain to come up with this idea? There's never a coincidence, guys. <sighs> Carving wood, man. 
It's not for Obvi mm. Obviously there is a joke in there that makes things a little bit uh complicated, which is like, oh look at my hardwood. I'm playing with my hardwood or whatever. But uh I'm not I'm not sure. I mean wood is a thing. Uh, whatever. I mean hopefully it doesn't get deeper than that, okay? Maybe I I have solved the mystery of that video. Uh -uh. Somehow the content just degenerated in front of my eyes. It took just 20 videos. That's it. What the fuck? <sighs> All right, now, now I'm curious now because th this is almost unwatchable. To be honest, I'm I'm hoping that they will make watchable videos. It, it's like so curious because Anthony was a part of Smosh for a little bit while the new cast was entering the play, but probably the new cast was entering the play because of the fucking Defy Media or whatever. We still don't know the full story, to be honest. Like, the full story has to be crafted, like I'm trying to do right now, to uncover at least their personalities in full spectrum, what they're trying to do with the channel back in a day. Hell the man. The most important question I have, is Anthony gonna be more funny or less funny? <laughs> because he talked to a bunch of weirdos. Alright. Says that you and I get married. Wait, like I, like I marry you? How is this possible? I mean, uh, it maybe marriage can be defined in many other ways. <laughs> like back in the day, we didn't actually see people on on our screens, but now we're like we want them to be together forever, you know. And maybe that's that's what marriage is. It's not it's not about you, okay? It's about everyone else. We have to like deal with relationships and stuff. Like, so like, are you guys still together? Oh wow, you broke up. You should have should have gotten married, so I don't have to worry about you breaking up that easily. You know, and maybe it's maybe marriage is not about you, not about your stupid relationship, but it's like about everyone else knowing that you will not, probably will never break up, you know, that's it. Like, you have to think what, what purpose marriage is supposed to serve in general. Well, and uh, the definitions can change over time or include more people. How about that? Except I don't want to include gays into marriage, but this is a very fine relationship, you know. A creator marriage of like, well, I guess, I guess this power couple shouldn't, you know, shouldn't separate itself. Or is it? <laughs> Maybe it's just a fluke that they came together. Maybe it's not going to work out. So uh, stay tuned for hour number two, because we have to speculate on that as well. It, it's Anthony, see, there's no way around it. There's no way around a prophecy, man. Yes, there is. But it, it is annoying uh, in Elder Scrolls Legends to hit a prophecy. But it made me think of, like, wait. Are Elder Scrolls Legends prophecies actual prophecies, too? Is it like fortune cookies? You you open a ruin and it's like, oh, wow, it's a pro. Now I see it differently, man. Wow, it was fortune cookie. It was not runes. Uh, it was misspelled fortune cookies, man. Oh my god, you're so right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now Instagram is trolling. All right, as always. Fucking June thirteen. Well, we went went back one week, back in time. Wow. Okay, okay, maybe it's going back to normal. 
What did... I don't know what's going on, man. I was so confused after seeing this. Okay. <laughs> Into this, alright? This is also old. But you know what's going on. It's fucking... they changing the algorithm as always. Assholes. You didn't give us uh, uh, ten, 10 seconds of watch time, but you like this person. So you have to go from 5 seconds to 10 seconds. You can't just scroll through this photo anymore. Yes, yes, Instagram. Shut the fuck up. Uh, hey, Jerry. Uh, yeah, they're trying to get rid of this, you know, gamer dude. But it made me thinking, like, you know, the only superpower they ever needed is the power of friendship, man. And being fucking loser virgins, all right? I haven't seen them kiss a girl, so I, I don't know. I don't know, they're probably virgins still. <laughs> One thing that bothers me is that uh, I guess they feel like they're such good actors, they have to play every single role. But it becomes very awkward when you see this uh, in the end credits. What? Okay, there's there's a lot of end credits, apparently. Deleted scenes. Also, what the fuck is that girl holding a camera? What, what the fuck is going on? And more. See, there's the extra, for who knows what. They can definitely get someone, you know, to to do acting. It, it, it's a tough, it's a tough business, but you know. Uh, you should be able to do that if you're creating. Alternative actors, man, or characters. It just makes things a little bit easier. I would imagine you don't have to make so many takes and stitch everything together. It's like, what the fuck? Like, if you have the ability to get away from that pull of nonsense, you have to do that work. It's kind of weird. <sighs> the first girl ever introduced into Smosh, guys. Wow. No, no! Funny enough, they actually fixed the problem in the current era, right? They have so many actors, like actual actors. Uh, like, if you take a person from the street and give him money, they won't be able to act properly. So technically, that that is fixed now. To some extent, they still have to play different characters. That's fine, though. If they, they don't mix things up or whatever. And it's, uh, it, they have to be reoccurring at characters as, as well, to make things more interesting. I don't, for obvious reasons, okay? I have to give you this, because, uh, it's the most nostalgic thing, them having a little, you know, hamster pet. Oh, guinea pig, actually. Come in! Yeah, it's the most nostalgic thing in Smosh, because it turned into, like, a weird character thing, but... I guess it's just another Ian's mental illness. Big boy to speckles, do you read me? Answer me, damn it! And well, eventually he started talking. Not in the skid, though. And he got drunk, too. I think I know why uh, Nintendo is so protective of their IPs. They fucking attract so many women and girls and whatnot. It's always like that. Believe me. The moment women come into play, they're the most protected entity ever. And so, uh, you either try to clean things up or, you know, remove content from YouTube. Uh, all sorts of things. And then it turns into a control system and whatnot. Yeah, that, the most ridiculous Easter egg. It's fucking weird. <laughs> what the fuck? Honestly, the the super duper old Smosh is still still rocking kicks, man. Uh, it's simply because like skits are awesome, but sometimes they just want to fucking let loose and do whatever, you know. And it's still gonna do 
well because like that's what comedy is about is about not really having much of a boundary not really caring too much about anything just doing whatever but it has to have some meaning you know it has to be liberating whatever you do it has to be artistic but it doesn't have to be a skit all right it can be short though it can be hand-packed with crazy stuff uh, and uh, this video is exactly that I guess this is what triggered me all, all that was happening is that just a few pixels moving in his mouth basically it's such a terrible quality but then it make me made me think of like they should just make a good quality thing where they just do stupid shit technically try not to laugh is sort of in that category but it's actually not edited uh like it barely and you i don't know we're, we're gonna get to that because we're gonna react to that but now we have a little bit of reference uh i think like uh there needs to be more props like the most amazing prop apparently is music you know yes some of it is copyrighted but you, and it's very difficult to like pick something that's not copyrighted to create an environment basically but you can come up with something you can definitely pick uh, movie lines or something uh, I'm sure there's some kind of creative thing you can do. Especially when parodies sort of fall into fair use. The biggest question for me is, should I split it into two episodes now? You know, am I gonna do that sort of stuff where everything is now one hour, but there's gonna be two episodes of this. Technically, it's kind of cooler that way. You know, I don't want to numb people out if they just like sit down but like people have to like learn how to watch a two hour of video funny enough i'm just like teasing them uh, what a i have to contemplate about a lot of things maybe it's it's time to do something special uh because we're contemplating i've all right, so I have a question we could we can ask the eight ball of what it thinks, because technically, you know, if we just look at Smosh as a whole, shorter is better, regardless, because uh, but it's comedy, but when it comes to like education and uh, spending time, I don't think that shorter is better, but there might be a better sweet spot than two hours, to go to from two hours to one. And apparent, I will switch the theme of the video. I will look into the, the new reunion stuff. And honestly, it makes sense to actually just split the video entirely. If I switch the theme. And uh, potentially I can add even more stuff because I switched the theme. It's a very interesting uh, idea, right? <laughs> Wow, maybe maybe that is true. Maybe you can scratch yourself by making two videos based on the same idea. Maybe splitting is a superpower. Hmm. Also, you can make both choices and it, you don't need to make that awkward transition. You can just say, uh, you can just choose both, man. Save Galaxy and bang her. Or bang her in order to save a galaxy. Here you go. The word. All right, guys, we need a conclusion here, and I have the ending. That's pretty cool, right? Friendship never ends. Or dies, never dies. Hmm. Can't be killed. You turn into a zombie on your own will. Just give in. Uh, it's a big deal because, again, America is known for being water, the lands, 
And it's the most vulnerable place for zombie apocalypse to take place. Which is a real thing, because monsters... Uh, I mean, people can turn into monsters anytime. You just never really know how it's gonna play out. But, you know, when the crisis hits, especially lo in local space, in America specifically, well, it's gonna be zombie apocalypse. It's a very interesting thing to speculate. And, uh, can we react to something? Well, uh, for some reason, guns don't work. Or, or they're just uh, incapable of, like, shooting zombies because they don't want to hurt them or whatever. They try to understand the zombies, but then Ian apparently bit one of their hands. Yeah. But they both decided to be zombies. So it's a good ending, I guess? I don't know, man. This is twisted shit. But that's why we have part two. We don't have to make a conclusion that makes any sense. All right. We can solve the zombie apocalypse and many more things by looking at the, the two other videos that they have collaborated upon to shove it in our face that this is a big deal. Hopefully it is. Hopefully I'm satisfied. See you guys on the next episode. Ha ha ha.